Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview of the article and the situation here. It is a tragic situation. It involves the death, um, the alleged manslaughter of this sweet baby boy here, one-year-old Leyland James Corkill, and uh, he was severely harmed on the 6th of January 2021, a little over a year ago, his life support machine was turned off on the 7th of January 2021. Um, <clears throat> he was in the process of being adopted and he was under the guardianship of prospective adoptive parents. The prospective adoptive mother being Laura Castle, 38 years of age, her husband being Scott castle 35 years of age and uh, did i mention this happened in barrow in furness barrow in furness is a part of lancashire in england north england and um the prospective adoptive mother laura castle has admitted um she's she's actually pleaded guilty to manslaughter of leyland james corkill um, so we're going to read through some of the details Laura Castle, 38 years of age, made the confession as one-year-old Leyland James Corkill was on a life support machine in hospital with catastrophic head injuries. The youngster, the one-year-old, had been living with his prospective adoptive parents, Laura and Scott Castle, when emergency services were called to their home in Barrow in Furness, Lancashire, on January the 6th, 2021. Laura Castle reported that Leyland James had fallen from a sofa whilst she was in the kitchen, but the medics didn't believe her. Uh, they raised concerns with authorities, the police, that her that uh, the boy's injuries did not match Laura Castle's, the prospective adoptive mother's account. She was lying. She has since pleaded guilty to the manslaughter of Leyland James, who lived with her for less than five months. But the scumbag prospective adoptive mother, Laura James, denies murder and child cruelty. Um, the husband has pleaded not guilty to really any involvement. He pleads not guilty to causing or allow allowing the death of Leyland James and also not guilty to child cruelty. Apparently, the husband had nothing to do with the ill harm uh, befallen upon uh, this one year old little cherub Leyland James. Jurors were told that the couple had undergone a rigorous process by the local county council in being allowed to look after Leyland James. Um, so they went through therapeutic parenting sessions and the caseworkers, the social workers, seemed to identify that uh, the both the mother and the, the father, or the prospective adoptive mother and father, the husband and wife, neither of them were really making any level of connection with the young boy, uh, Leyland James. Um, there's no, there was no joy in what he was doing. Um, they just didn't seem to be engaged. And likewise, seemingly, the boy wasn't engaged with them, seemingly. Um, so there was a disconnect there. And one of the social workers said, that they would be unlikely to have recommended a full adoption because of this lack of connection. Um, also, the social workers were very concerned that um, the mother had acknowledged that she had been smacking or, or using corporal punishment to some extent on Leyland James, despite the therapeutic parenting sessions that they went through which shuns corporal punishment. It says never to use corporal punishment and to be more nurturing, which I applaud. Um, so there was definitely some concerns and unfortunately, Leyland's James life support was turned off on the 7th of January uh, due to horrific head injuries. The article also tells us that the husband and wife's Mobile phones were investigated by the police and the prospective adoptive mother, Laura Castle, 
in text messages said multiple times uh, that she had levered Layden James. So whatever that means, but essentially it means hit him to quite an extent. Slap him, whatever it happens to be, smack him. Um, so that that's as much as I can gather from this article. To be honest with you, it's not, in my opinion, the best written article. It's not given me or us a great deal of information in regards to what's happening right now in regards to a court case. She has pled guilty to manslaughter, so uh, I would m imagine that means that there is currently a court case ongoing. Uh, but the article, as far as I'm gathering, just really isn't spelling that out for me, and I do like to be hand-fed these details. Um, so that's as much as I can go through. Of course, it's an absolute tragic loss, and we do hope that justice is served. This woman seemingly... Uh, has admitted she's, she's pled guilty to manslaughter so i would imagine that uh, sentencing will be somewhat of a foregone conclusion i hope she gets a long time she's caused the death of a an innocent baby boy a little cherub uh, an angel um you know just completely needlessly i'm gonna say a couple of things in regards to the adoptive processing process um or rather the parenting sessions therapeutic parenting sessions uh, to encourage the prospective adoptive parents to be more nur nurturing and never to use corporal punishment. I'm not a parent, um, so I'm sure there are times when it's very tempting to use corporal punishment. Uh, but uh, from, from what I understand, and I've learned this from listening to Stefan Molyneux, who's still out there on the internet somewhere, but he's been banned for wrong think from most social platforms. Uh, social media platforms uh, but uh, you know he argues about the non-aggression principle and just the belief that it's just totally wrong and counterproductive to use corporal punishment against children and one way to like you know make that come home so that we understand that is a little one-year-old baby boy is tiny as we know they're tiny they're weak. They have zero strength. A fully grown adult male or female is 20 times, 30 times, 50 times stronger, bigger and stronger. And, uh, you know, that's much the same uh, throughout the child's life up until the child becomes um, a young teen. Typically, uh, the, the adult's always going to have a significant strength advantage. I mean, you go up to your co-worker and you slap them round the ear roll. Yeah, and you see what happens. Well, what happens is you'll get punched right back in the face. But, you know, your kids can't do that. They are powerless. They are entirely vulnerable. So it's a, an absolute unfair fight. You know, OK, sure, it's not exactly a fight. It's a one way street, isn't it? I mean, the kids just don't have any recourse. They don't have uh, any ability to do anything other than cry um in addition to that it's going to have mental repercussions or emotional repercussions you as the parent are supposed to be there to love and care for your child and there you are throwing that on its head hitting them hurting them subjecting them to pain scaring them yeah what are they going to think oh am i going to be thrown out of my home does mummy and daddy not love me anymore? This is what kids think. So, you know, corporal punishment. Again, I feel a little bit hypocritical because I'm not a parent. Um, and I do imagine that being a parent is very, very stressful. And I can imagine from time to time that, um, you know, one, a parent may feel justified in handing out a certain level of corporal punishment. And I think that is so normalized that it's hard to absolutely blame that 100%. But certainly, by and large, uh, corporal punishment should either never be used or be used in extenuating circumstances only and as minorly as possible. Um, I view it as a bad thing, personally. Uh, so I'm glad that these guys, the authorities, as they go through the adoptive process, that they are rigorous that they're not just handing out these babies willy-nilly. Um, that they, they are going through a process. 
I mean, I'll throw this in there. I'm no expert, but I have been hearing about, is it Roe versus Wade? I don't really understand the full details. I haven't been bothered to look into it. But does that mean that most states in the United States will be um, banning abortions or certainly putting more restrictions on making abortions uh, a lot more difficult to achieve um, I'm not going to go into my opinions as to whether or not I support that because it's too controversial um, I do have my opinions you could perhaps guess my opinions um, but I don't want to clearly state them because it's definitely my opinions whatever it happens to be if I'm pro or anti-abortion Whichever one it happens to be, I'm going to be upsetting, <laughs> you know, 50% of the other people, pretty much. I think it's pretty, the abortion issue seems to be pretty much split down the middle, 50-50 or 50% um, pro-abortion, pro-choice, 50% anti-abortion, pro-life, pretty much 50-50, close to that. So I don't want to upset people unnecessarily, it doesn't really matter what my opinion is, but, um, you know, perhaps this roe versus wade uh being abolished if i understand if that's going to make abortion more difficult then presumably the whole notion of adopting children is going to increase i would imagine i would imagine that would be my guess that there would be more on the, the you know the unwanted pregnancies are no longer terminated but they're more likely to go full duration am i using the right terms maybe not uh, there's going to be more babies born and uh, you're going to have parents that don't want to be a parent or perhaps aren't capable of being a parent are not ready to be a parent so I would imagine that um, there's going to be an increase in adoption rates within the United States or certainly babies available for adoption uh, so it's good to know that in the United Kingdom they do take the adoptive the process very seriously as they ought to. I mean, I'll say this. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest as well. I mean, that's going to cost a lot of taxpayers money. I mean, let's be honest. That is a factor too. So it is a shame that, uh, I don't know, the whole thing's a bloody mess if you ask me. But anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. I know it's a bit of a ramble and it hasn't been the best article to go through. I would like more clarity in regards to whether or not there is a court case going on. I could have done more research to double check that, to be honest, but I didn't. Um, but anyway, I'll wrap things up. Thanks for listening, guys. Watch out for some other videos. Perhaps they'll be a little bit more organized and uh, take care.